come and explore Ohrid with me, one of the oldest human settlements in all of Europe. This is the city of Ohrid which was dubbed at one point the Jerusalem of Balkans because of the 365 churches. Have you checked my North Macedonia video yet? If not, this is the link. Please do check it because it has tons of information that's very helpful before you plan your visit. So, click up now. In roughly an hour and a half, we almost arrived at Ohrid. And the first thing you see is the Samuel's Fort, which is located on top of the mountain. I already knew that I was gonna love Ohrid. Getting to Ohrid is quite easy. There is an international airport. You can easily land there or even cross in from Greece or Albania, or you can come from Skopje, which is the capital and has a much bigger airport. I just got to Ohrid and I'm exhausted, but the city is just so incredibly beautiful, especially from where I'm staying. Oh, unbelievable. For Ohred, I actually managed to get a really amazing place with a gorgeous view of the entire city and the lake. Tonight, it's pizza a la view. Good morning, all you beautiful people from Ored. So, it's my first day and I'm heading to one of the best spots in Ored and North Macedonia and actually the whole Balkans. So, I'm not gonna tell you what it is to keep a little bit of a surprise. Let's go see what it is. Svetinaum is one of the most beautiful spots when it comes to Ohrid and you definitely cannot miss it. There's a point where you can see the Black Drin River emptying into Ohrid Lake. There's a boat ride you can do which is really beautiful and serene. And obviously you have to see the monastery of St. Naum, which is located in perfect, perfect place. And it's a beautiful thing that you can do in a full day. And obviously it comes with a little secret surprise. I'm not gonna tell you what, you have to check my video about Swati Naum for that. The link is above, but do not miss this. So I've stopped on the way to find something interesting, a secret beach. The secret beach better be worth it because, wow, it's gonna be really fun going back up now. Totally worth it.
St. John at Kanyo or the proper name of the church is St. John the Theologian at Kanyo. Now the church is really beautiful. It is nothing special if you look around. I mean, there are a lot of churches, but the setting makes it absolutely beautiful. I don't have the words to describe it. It's just so serene and calm and I would definitely recommend visiting it later in the afternoon because you can see the beautiful water of Lake Ohrid and the colors the lake changes with the sun going down. Ah, oh, it was dreamy. Good morning from Ohrid, another gorgeous day. So I'm getting ready to explore the city, but let me tell you a little bit about the place before we start. This is Lake Ohrid and it is one of the oldest and deepest lakes in Europe. And this is the city of Ohrid, which was dubbed at one point the Jerusalem of Balkans because of the 365 churches that just lie, you know, just around and in the city. Not all of them exist anymore, but there's still plenty and we'll see a few of them together. So Ohrid and Lake Ohrid are both part of UNESCO World Heritage Sites and they are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So let's go explore the city a bit more and see what else we can do around. And I'll give you a few other tips on how to get here, you know, how to get around, where to stay, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. It's a really, really beautiful day again, and I'm really excited to go explore. I will try and do a boat tour of the lake. I'm not sure if there are enough people for that. I mean, I'd be fine, honestly, either way, but you can do that if you really like to. So I'm gonna go do that now. Come with me. Let's enjoy the beautiful Ohrid. Lavshnik is considered perhaps the most sacred spot in all of Northern Macedonia because this is the place where the first Slavic university was formed and the church you see inside is the church of St. Clement who helped build this place and this has been there for quite some time but he actually made it Christian. It is an entire complex by the way and you will need a ticket to get in. But honestly, it's more about just getting lost in the streets, you know, seeing this and that rather than specific points.
getting lost in the streets of Old Town of Ohrid is a pleasure on its own. You see so many interesting places, old houses, new houses, cobbled streets and the cutest cats ever. They have a lot of stray cats, so do not miss those. They're very very friendly as well. Their church is small and big and St Sophia was one of my favorites. There's tons of restaurants and bars if that's your thing and you cannot miss the lakefront which is an amazing place if you want to go in the evening for people watching everyone comes there and it becomes really really interesting place um we can interact with locals there's some musicians playing there as well definitely worth a visit Good morning. It's my last day and I really want to spend it outside. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous day for that. Oh my god, this is stunning. Let me show you. Getting around over it is also quite easy. I mean it's very walkable honestly it's a small city and you can pretty much see the entire thing um in one glance or you can take a taxi I'm not entirely sure about public transport but taxi is really nice and cheap here so I've been using that to get around whenever I need it to especially to go to Sweti Naum or to go um to Galicica National Park to the top of the mountain to see Prespa and over it at the same time These are Ohrid bulls, a special treasure from Ohrid, one of the oldest, deepest lakes in Europe. Now, these are not like normal pearls which you get from the sea, like the ones you get in Japan. These are different because they are man-made, like they do it, it's a painstaking process. There's like seven, eight layers that they have to do and then a pearl is formed. Now they have dedicated fans from the late Princess Diana to the Queen Margaret of Sweden as well as the Queen Elizabeth of UK. So it's quite interesting. I didn't know this before and I just found out. So there's traditionally two families who hold the secret to the pearls. So getting the authentic ones is the key. Obviously, the food has to start with shops got salad and as usual, you know, as the usual tomatoes, cucumbers with a lot of cheese and onions. Yum. Look at the view. This is the Macedonian burger oozing with cheese. And what better than a clava to finish off a nice meal. I am in Gilichita National Park. It is 
beautiful up here. It took me about an hour to get here, but it's too late for me to go all the way to the top. So there's a mountain here. When you get to the top, you can see both Lake Ohrid and Prespa at the same time. But even if you don't have time or um, you're lazy or you don't want to do it, you can still see both lakes from the national park. So this behind me is Lake Prespa. And when we were coming, we saw Lake Ohrid on that side. So I will show you both of these. It is really, really beautiful, but it is a bit chilly. So bring an extra t-shirt or something with you. Unfortunately, this is the end of our journey here. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please do like, subscribe, share, and I love reading comments, so please do leave some. And I will see you in the next video at another beautiful destination. Until then, you have an amazing, amazing day. Bye. Just stopping along the way to see this beautiful view. Look at how clean the water is. <laughs>